Hello, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries, and today I'm doing the second installment in a number of videos that I'm going to be doing about artificial intelligence and design. I'm using a tool in NX that enables me to access the power of artificial intelligence and apply it to a design and perhaps come up with a solution that it would be very difficult for me to come up with just on my own. So as you can see, here I have a clevis, and what I want to do is put a bunch of force on this clevis, and the um, shape of the clevis is going to be uh, created, if you will, from the design. I'm going to, um, this is an aluminum 6061 clevis, and I'm going to put about 225 pounds on this clevis, uh, pulling it apart this way. And I want to uh, minimize the volume. I want to make this as light as it possibly can be, but still take the stress uh, that I'm going to be putting on it. So I'm going to navigate to the topology optimization code. And topology optimization is amazing because what it does in the background is I give it some, uh, starting, um, some starting objectives and constraints, and then it just goes crazy and it uh, iterates a whole bunch of times and it comes to a solution, like I said, that would be very difficult. So um, the way this works is, you know, you go into the software and you uh, create a study. I'm going to call this min volume. Min volume translates to min weight. And um, it's going to be a structural linear statistic uh, statics. And I'm going to adjust the course, coarseness of the uh, solution. So I'll just go right in the middle of ultra fine and coarse. Obviously, if you say ultra fine, it's going to take a lot longer. And um, we're just going to say OK there. And as you can see, uh, NX gives me all of the um, parameters that I need to, um, that I need to uh, go in there and edit in order to run the study. So uh, analysis type, we already know. Um, optimization objective, I'm going to say that we're going to uh, minimize the volume. Here it is, minimize the volume. Um, say OK to that. Um, then I'm going to go to design spaces, and I'm going to create new. And I'm going to select this piece of geometry um, as the design space. Um, as you can see, it's aluminum 6061. I've already done that, so I can say OK. And what I'm doing is turning all these red asterisks into green check marks, or at least satisfying them. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is, with the optimization, I'm going to make sure that the solution is going to be 60% of the ultimate tensile strength of this material. Ultimate tensile strength of the material being about uh, 40,000 PSI or um, 275 megapascals. So that's a, that's um, my, that's, if you could call it uh, your, your um, design safety or your, um, your factor of safety, right? So 60% of UTS, say okay to that. And then I'm gonna do the analysis constraints. So I'm going to say that um, this portion right here that's going to be bolted onto the uh, bolted onto the um, strut, the end of the strut, and we're going to be pulling on this thing with uh, 274 pounds, 275 pounds, something like that. So I'll say OK there. I'm going to go to the loads now, create a new load, and I'm going to put, I'm going to select the faces that I want, put the loads on. Now, as you may um, notice. I have broken the faces up uh, to a bottom and a top because I really want to apply a force in this upward direction. And I know there's going to be no force down here. So I'm just um, having it evenly distributed on these faces. So I did that with a divide face. And then here's my force. Um, it's a thousand newtons or I can convert it probably. Let's see. Go to the, go to the, oh, OK. Um, let's do it right here. Here we go. There's pounds, and I'm going to do 225 pounds. 
I'm going to specify a vector, and that vector is going straight up away from the uh, fixed spot, which is, you know, uh, probably would be screwed on to a, uh, a strut. Um, you may have noticed that when I did that fixed analysis, it says, or the fixed constraint, it says thicken offset. So I'm going to be giving it three millimeters coming in from this direction. So this is going to be uh, three millimeters thick. That's just a constraint, if you will. And the distance from uh, this face to this face is approximately two inches. So I think it's something like 53 millimeters. So, so there you go. Everything is all set and ready for me to run the optimization. So I click on optimize. And what probably happens is my, um, my little uh, processor starts going nuts. Um, you probably didn't hear it, but the uh, fan came on um, because suddenly there's just a thousand million uh, iterations of this thing going on all at once, and it's, uh, it's probably heating up quite nicely. So now we wait. Uh, as you can see, there's a nice little output. It's showing the objective and convergence and the number of iterations that it's going through um, it looks like it's done 36 already and 38 so as you could imagine it would be incredibly difficult for just a person or human to be doing this and so that's why this is artificially intelligent it's doing what we would do only it's doing it at the at you know, speeds approaching the speed of light. <laughs> it has um, always been interesting to me that we could sit on a CAD system for many hours and we're throwing these little electrons through these little wires and <laughs> uh, through these little joints and transistors, etc. And, um, you know, and then they're recorded on some sort of media. And then we have this design and it's fantastic. Um, it's really edifying. It's really, I should say, satisfying. And it's uh, kind of amazing. It's kind of amazing that so much of this didn't exist um, a few short years ago. And now we use it to our great advantage. It's really important to me uh, to understand that artificial intelligence is here to stay. And artificial intelligence gives us um, a way forward. Now this thing is saying it's done. So I'm going to hit close here and I'm going to say control B and I'm going to hide the original. And that leaves what it came up with. Look at that. So these little bars that are in between, that's very interesting. These little connections to the uh, part that would be threaded onto this thing. Um, so now you have a design that's, uh, way different than what I would have come up with. But if I can believe my analysis, and I wouldn't just believe it, I would do the calculations and I would do a separate analysis. Um, this is the shape that, this is all that's really necessary to take care of uh, 225 pounds. As you can see, it's distributed this way on the inside of that clevis. And you've got these thin little two. So this weighs a heck of a lot less than the original and it's the absolute minimum if i were to if this were a production job and i were to continue what i would do is i would keep this and i would probably redesign this a little bit with a sketch and some you know some uh, th a, bit, a bit thicker tubes and you know make this a, a little bit thicker and then i'd go with it um it would be a design that would be optimized and you know we can be pretty sure that this would be 60% of the yield stress. So again, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries. Thanks for listening. Please like and subscribe. And uh, this is going to be, this is the second installment of a number of videos that I'm going to be doing about artificial intelligence and design and the tools that enable you to do it. Thank you very much.